haven't been on here in a while and I have another one going up today as well so I'm doing this one as well today I might as well I figured but this is a OU battle and I have Greninja it's a Megalopony a Mew my poor guy too trusty trusty soulmate Kiram Metagross my opponent over there is bringing an interesting little core of Zygarde, Infernape, Landorus, Metagross, and Venusaur, and a Lolan Persian, who he actually ends up leading off with here. So we're going to get this started here. So he led off with a, a Lolan Persian, as you can see. And if you did notice, he actually outsped my Greninja. And I asked him about that, and he said he was running Scarf. And I've never seen that before on a Lolan Persian, but I guess... Uh, I guess you can try that out. That's, uh, I mean, it ensures a parting shot, so I guess that's cool, I guess. So he's gonna parting shot my Greninja and go out into his Venusaur and Mega Evolve. As he did that, I got up spikes and you turned out into my Mew, as you can see. From here, I can get up my rocks and go from there. I do have Ice Beam on this Mew, so I will be able to hit this Mega Venusaur with some damage. These things are like fat, very fat, very bulky and fat, so I'm probably not going to be doing a whole lot of damage, but I will be hitting him up with the Ice Beam as he's going to, uh, Ice Beam, as he's going to go uh, start up with the Sludge Bomb here. And we're pretty much going to be going back and forth for a while as I do go for the Dragon Tail. I believe this following turn I am unfortunately going to miss. Oh no, I just roost here. This might, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I'm going to roost here and he's going to go for the, the Giga Drain as we are going to kind of going to go for this back and forth little defensive battle here. As my Mew is, I have a few uh, special attack EVs, but primarily I am max HP than special defense nature and I have a whole bunch of EVs there like majority of them are there I believe 200 around 200 but yeah so so Mew's gonna just be in here roosting and I believe I did maybe miss the dragon tail trying to get this thing out of here just because I don't really want to fight this thing like I can uh I can go ahead and roost up all I want but at the end of the day this thing is fat and use fat but he's not as fat as this so i probably will lose a 1v1 as he goes ahead as we are having this back and forth battle he's gonna he's gonna crit me with a great giga drain as i finally do get my dragon tail off and i'm gonna get um knock him into his i'm gonna knock him out and knock him into his zygarde here and zygarde being a zygarde and me having ice beam i could go for it but as you can see my mew is very low on health also being poisoned so he's gonna go for the thousand arrows as I am gonna just let my Mew get knocked out here. I pretty much have no more real use for it as I did get up my rocks. So I was actually trying to, what I wanted to do was drag tail the Venusaur out early so then I can switch out and just go from there and maybe have my Mew later to, you know, do do uh, any type of damage to any mods or do whatever it can do. You know, be, be fat and bulky. So he's gonna go into his Metagross here as I go into my poor guy too. I'm going to hit him up with the Ice Beam there, which is not going to do entirely a lot. He's going to actually switch out this turn to go into his Landorus as I hit him, the incoming Lamorous, with the Shadow Ball. From there, he's going to get up his Rocks, and I did not... I expected him to go for that U-turn. I don't know why he just... He just uses Landorus to get our Rocks only, so it's like, Landorus, you are here to get our Rocks, and that's it. And I just hit him for the Ice Beam and knocked him out, and... I mean, I use when I use Landorus, I, ju I just try to get the most out of them. So if, if I was in that situation, I would have definitely tried to U-turn or something like that, not just get up rocks and die. So at this point, he's gonna have his, um, he's gonna bring his Infernape in. So I'm gonna bring in my max HP, max defense Metagross here, who is also holding a Rocky Helmet, to take this close combat. And instead of just taking a Fire Punch, which I know he's gonna go for, I'm gonna actually switch back to my Porygon too, cause. You know, Porygon 2 is just fat, you know, it's my soulmate. So, I'm gonna uh, take that Fire Punch very well. So he's gonna be taking some more Life Orb damage, and I'm gonna be switching into my Metagross, back into my Metagross here, just because I figured he'd go for the close combat again. Or if I was him, I was going for the Fire Punch, just expecting something like this. But either way, uh, he's gonna uh, be taking some damage from the Rocky Helmet. He's also gonna be taking some damage from the Life Orb. And I was gonna pick him off with a Bullet Punch there. But uh, he ended up having the mock punch and he's just going to knock me out with that. But he's going to, in return, get knocked out by the Rocky Helm. 
So on the double down here, I kind of wanted to go into Greninja, but I end up opting into my low punny here. Just to get our mecha evolved and get her get her gone. So but if I did bring a good ninja here, it would have just been like the beginning of the battle where the only thing he can really go for is parting shot and I was just gonna get up another layer of spikes because spikes are spikes on top of rocks are very good, especially for mods like Greninja and mods like Low Punny, because I mean they already put a whole bunch of offensive pressure on you anyway. So if you if you're taking that little extra damage, it's just it's it's just big in nature. So I'm gonna uh, bring out my Greninja here on his um, Alolan Persian, who's going to party shot into his Venusaur here. After he goes into his Venusaur here, I'm just gonna uh, go for the U-turn. I did want to get up spikes, but I'm not gonna risk getting knocked out by by a Venusaur. So he's gonna um, go for the Giga Drain, and like I said, my soul mate, my bay uh, Porygon 2 here is gonna just take a Giga Drain very well, and he's gonna go for a Sludge Bomb after that. And like I said, the Bay is gonna take another Sludge Bomb as I get to go for the Recover here. My uh, Porygon 2 actually is Max HP, Max Special Defense with the Evia Light and Special Defense Nature. Maybe Careful or something like that. Careful or Calm, whichever one is uh, not minus Special Attack. So he's gonna, I'm gonna go for the ice beam here, and he's gonna go for the synth, or synthesis. I do a, a quite a, a bit of damage. Like I said, that Mega Venusaur is pretty fat, so you know it's not gonna do a, a bunch of damage. So I'm gonna end up going for another ice beam here, and at this point in range, I pretty much don't have. Sorry, I would never really say this, but I have no more use for my Porygon 2 in this battle here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and sack it off and go into and get a free switch into my uh, Black Kyurem here. And me thinking, me just offhand thinking, I'm thinking he's just gonna switch into Metagross here. So I'm just planning ahead and I go for the Earth Power just so I can catch that incoming Metagross coming in and pretty much go to knock him out. But he's actually gonna stay in here. And the second turn, I'm thinking, okay, he has to go into Metagross this turn. So I'm going to go for the another Earth Power there. So after the two turns of just just pretty much misplaying and taking a Sludge Bomb, I'm just going to say third time's the charm here. And I'm going to just go ahead and go for the Sub-Zero Slammer. And I'm not sure why he wanted to sack off his Mega Venusaur. I mean, Mega Venusaur is... That was probably a mod that could have helped to win the battle later on. I'm not sure why he just didn't want to protect it or, or whatever is going going with that. But he's going to take the Z-move and get knocked out. He's going to come in with his Zygarde. Um, so I, apparently I was in range of being knocked out by E-Speed. But the roll went into my favor. And I will survive on just 4 HP. And I'm going to knock him out with the, the Dragon Claw here. So he gonna, uh, he's gonna come back in with the Alolan Persian, and at this point, um, Alolan Persian can't do too much to me. So he's gonna go for the foul play and actually knock me out. It wasn't no point for me to switch out there. Yeah, like um, saving Kyurem wasn't wasn't something I probably should have done. But uh, as he as he uh, he is scarf, he is gonna outspeed my Greninja here, and I, I thought I can maybe knock him out with the U-turn there. Excuse me, I could, thought I could knock him out with the U-turn there. But uh, I didn't, so I'm gonna end up knocking. I'm gonna end up U turning into my low punny, just going for the fake out, and from there I can just go ahead and and knock out, knock out that Alolan Persian. So he's gonna come back in with this last mod, who is Metagross, and at this point I am rocking the fire punch, so that will be how this battle will come to a conclusion. And there it is. So good game to my boy Column over there. I believe his name Zen. Zen, I met him on Visualize Discord, and yeah, I mean, for remainder, um, I, I was um, my character Raza Raza, but I probably will be repping the Uchiha Clan for the remainder of Sun and Moon, getting ready for Ultra Sun and Moon, by the way, which will be coming out in about maybe a week and a half now. So I don't know when you're gonna see this, but yeah, like uh, maybe about a week from when you see this. So yeah, so everyone's hyped up for that. I know I'm hyped. So shout out to this beautiful, uh, oh yeah, the chip tune music. Uh, shout out to that. By the way, yeah, send those requests. Send, do that, do that, do that. Request, request it up. Cause yeah, no, we're all about entertainment here. And with that being said, that will be the end of the battle. And I will see you guys another time. Hit that like button, stomp on it. Bam, bam, bam. Get it done. All right, and see ya.